Back in 2014, the Fire and Ice hand cards came out, which have the effects that when either of them is destroyed, you get to destroy one card in the field and then special summon the other one from your deck, with the Fire Hand destroying monsters and Ice Hand destroying spell and trap cards. And neither of these floating effects were once per turn. So if you summoned a Fire Hand and then crashed into your opponent's monster, you could pretty easily pick apart your opponent's board for a single normal summon. And they were incredibly powerful and useful during this era of the game. However, they see absolutely zero competitive play nowadays. So why does nobody play the Fire and Ice Hand cards anymore? Well, the game has kind of evolved to the point where if you need a normal summon a monster from your hand to get your engine online, it's considered too slow. The sprite cards all special summon from the hand, as do the cash tier and tier limit cards special summon by sending cards to the graveyard. Basically, if a card can't special summon itself from the hand deck or graveyard, then it needs extra resources to get itself on the field. And if you're expending extra resources to get a card out from your hand or deck, it better be game-winningly powerful like Arts or Christia. Plus, most engines can pick apart your opponent's board anyway without requiring the fire and ice hands, which was not the norm back in the day.